The E3 2015 demo of Assassin's Creed Syndicate offers up a substantial chunk of its gameplay, giving players a chance to try out big additions like the rope launcher, gang brawls, and carriage chases. But not all of what it showcases is so obvious. Taking the time to go off the rails and experiment yields all kinds of insight into what's new. And with that in mind, here are 10 cool things even sharp-eyed players might have missed. Jacob Fry can beat up Victorian thugs by the dozen, usually with brutal finishers. If you're in the mood for a challenge, however, try getting a few of them to the very point of death and then backing off. If you can get a few wounded Templars near each other without accidentally killing any, you can finish them all at once with a spectacular cinematic flourish. Our natural inclination when starting the demo for the first time was to immediately head to the rooftops and make a beeline for the nearest enemy stronghold, because that's what assassins do, right? Well, there's nothing that says assassins can't also hijack one of London's many carriages and wreak some idle havoc. If you feel like being a jerk, you're free to run down Templars, ram civilians off the road, and eventually get chased around by London's police officers. Drawing unwanted attention from enemies in carriages can be deadly. Lucky for you, there's a quick solution, although you might want to avoid it if you don't like seeing animals get hurt in games. Shooting your enemy's steeds with any weapon will send them racing down the street, taking their Templar handlers with them. If that's not final enough, shooting the horses again kills them, effectively crashing their carriages and creating an obstacle for other pursuers. Being stealthy means not leaving a mess, so Assassin's Creed Syndicate once again gives you the ability to carry and conceal dead bodies. In a series first, however, you can take them back out again if you change your mind or just really feel the need to sling a corpse over your shoulder. Jacob has a few throwing knives up his sleeve, and they're good for more than just long-range headshot kills. They can also create distractions to lure enemies to specific spots, which is a fantastic tool for those moments when you want baddies to stand under big, heavy objects that can be easily cut loose with another well-aimed knife throw. Things won't always go your way in a fight, and being desynchronized is more gruesome than it's been in the past. Losing a fight can now mean watching Jacob get executed by his Templar foes. It's humiliating, so consider it an extra incentive to not get killed. While the demo offers straightforward goals, its walled-off chunk of London is pretty substantial, and those who take the time to explore will be rewarded. Specifically, they'll be rewarded with the chance to check out St. Paul's Cathedral, a soaring piece of 17th century architecture that's presented here in all its massive glory, making it an essential stop for the determined historical tourist. Speaking of historical tourism, those with an eye for detail will find a lot to take in. 19th century ads are fascinating to look at with their old-timey caricatures and quaintly elaborate product logos, and they're plastered all over the place. You can also watch workmen build a road or scale the heights of London's tallest buildings and take in the strangely majestic skyline created by smoke-belching factories. At the climax of the demo, we chased a Templar gang boss named Bloody Nora across town in a carriage before facing off against her forces in a vicious gang battle. But you don't fight her. We can't stand to let a Templar live, though, and it's entirely possible to stop and kill her en route to the battle by intercepting her carriage. You'll notice the difference when you arrive at the brawl site. Instead of being greeted by Nora and her revolver, you'll get to see Jacob triumphantly display Nora's scarf. You'll still have to fight, but you'll get the extra satisfaction of knowing there's one less Templar in London. What other secrets does London hold? Find out when Assassin's Creed Syndicate comes to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on October 23rd and PC this fall. And in the meantime, keep your eyes on UbiBlog for more updates.